Hey there, truth seekers. Welcome back to our channel, where we'll be revealing the startling reality behind the glitzy world of Merlin and Prince Harry, ladies and gentlemen. As we delve into the courtroom spectacle that has left Prince Harry with his tail between his legs and facing a humiliating defeat after a judge orders him to pay over $60,000 in legal fees to the Daily Mail, royal enthusiasts and those navigating the complex web of regal drama, welcome to the latest chapter of the Harry and Man saga. Before we go any further, though, I would like to thank you all for your enormous love and support. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Click the button right now, and don't forget to press the bell icon. Well, let's get started. Judge Matthew Nicholas made a brutal ruling in the courtroom when the Duke of Sussex sued Associated Newspapers and the Daily Mail publisher over an article that claimed he had concealed attempts to obtain government-funded protection in the UK after leaving the monarchy. It was a daring move, to be sure. In February 2022, an article was published that, according to Justice Nicholas, expressed an honest viewpoint rather than Fossard's, and the publisher had a genuine chance of establishing that assertions made on Harry's behalf were false. Harry's legal plan is in jeopardy since the court even called the defense team a possible master class in spinning. The court chastised Harry Stern for his allegations that the piece was essentially untrue and misleading, alleging that he had lied in public. The newspaper insisted that the article expressed an honest viewpoint and that the judge rejected Harry's arguments. Judge Nicholas has set a three- to four-day libel trial between May 17 and July 31, but the legal fight is far from finished. He has promised more drama in the courtroom in the months ahead. The financial impact on Harry from this legal chess match is quite astounding. The Duke of Sussex will be required to pay a substantial sum of 60927 in legal costs by December 29th. The main kicko is yet to come, even if some may claim that it's a drop in the royal bucket for a guy of his financial position. The enormous expenses expended in another case Harry has against the same publisher are probably going to eclipse this amount. The Juck, along by well-known co-claimants such as Elizabeth Helley and Elton John, is fighting an ongoing court battle alleging tabloid publications used illegal methods, including as phone hacking and fraud, to uncover secrets as we watch Harry take a financial hit and navigate the complexities of the British legal system, one can't help but wonder, is this a strategic move? Associated newspapers failed in their attempt to have the lawsuit dismissed last month, and now Justice Nicholas is in charge of deciding the costs to be awarded for each party's victories and losses. As the gavel falls, we prepare for the next exciting chapter in the Harrying May saga. What do you think about this news, guys? Please let me know in the comments below. Until then, stay tuned for more shocking stories and scandalous exposes on our YouTube channel. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to stay up to date on the latest from the world of the royal family. Retreat, a tactical blunder or the precursor to a larger showdown in the legal arena thank you for watching, and we hope to see you back here soon with more exciting royal family news. For now, goodbye.